Dio Brando, otherwise known as Dio, all capital letters, is the major catalyst for pretty much all of the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure series. A being whose life has spanned hundreds of years thanks to his vampirism, bestowing abilities of heat control, along with insane durability and regeneration. Dio also enjoys being one of the most powerful characters in his series thanks to the physically manifested will of his fighting spirit, otherwise known as his stand, which grants Dio an ally in combat and the almighty power of stopping time for up to 10 seconds, with the freedom to move as he pleases during this pause. With plenty of other interesting feats and techniques we'll be getting into later, Dio is by no means an easy opponent for any of the Jujutsu Kaisen sorcerers, with stand users and sorcerers not too far off in scale, depending on the matchup of course. How far would Dio make it through the JJK gauntlet until he met his match? Or would he just cripple the entire universe? Hit that like button, subscribe, and we're gonna get right into it. But most importantly, thank you for watching. And with me on this topic, I've got my man, Diavolo. Yo, what up everyone? How are we doing today? How are we? Everyone knows what we're doing based off the intro, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into it, putting Dio with all capital letters and the world up against uh, all Jujutsu Kaisen sorcerers in their universe. To start off <laughs> with, we always have to do it to make everything fair. The god of the Jujutsu world, Ijichi Kiyotaka. Uh, how do we think the Ijichi- king the barrier king that's right how do we think he's gonna handle mr dio uh i i don't think that unless he's with other people i don't see him having like any chance at all dio would just time stop and murk him on the spot as well kind of i would imagine <laughs> He's going to set the trend for a lot of people you're going to notice as we go through this list because it's going to be structured weakest yeah. to strongest. The problem really is, is a lot of these people just don't have one, any kind of physical stats that are going to be able to keep up with an ability that just stops all of time, nor do they have like a hacks mm, curse mm. technique that lets them do anything like my Zenin, who is like Yorozu Light with her construction ability. <laughs> like <laughs> construction what with the assume? one extra bullet in the revolver like if you can't even shoot the uh, gun you're not going to be able to do anything and also the gun with dio who is a vampire who basically has shown yeah. that he can literally have his head just taken off and he can still he talk can and his body will just walk around <laughs> and put it back what's a bullet what are seven <laughs> bullets gonna do probably walk up to Mai and just vampirize her in like a second, you know, just jabs her in the face with his fingers and she's done. Poor girl. It's just at a loss in this universe, you know. I'm gonna <laughs> just... be real with you, Diavolo. I don't even think Dio needs to use time stop for some of these people. Nah, I think we're being way too generous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, cause he is pretty like cocky in who he is, you know, like he's, he's quite charismatic. So maybe he could even just straight up get a few of them on his side while he's at it, like while he's in there. He just wings them over. He's like, come on, come on, my, like you're pretty weak. I could kind of, I could gas you up. Cause there is, I'm pretty sure he can as well. True. If, if there's anyone wrong. that needs a power up and a stand, it's my Zenin. I'll tell you what. Exactly. <laughs> See, she might actually have some kind of fighting, you know, like ability that could help other people throughout the series instead of the one bullet per day construction, which is got to be one of the saddest like techniques in the series i think you know a lot of the kyoto students just don't really need any kind of harsh introduction like miwa kasumi <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna look at people like noritoshi kamo as well we can even just skip ahead honestly mm, for mm. people like him in the group like all the people in the kyoto school like what are they going to be able to do even if they were to come at <laughs> someone like dio all at once I think like maybe the only person who could possibly have some form of chance could be like Koichi. I know it sounds sounds kind of crazy, but like if he gets in his mech suit, then again, you know, Dio probably just pull his time and take his time getting up inside the mech suit, then beat him up like Mahito did. But maybe he uses those 17 years and it's in some kind of way and blows him out of the park. But yeah, unless he like, they, they will hold him back and then a big mech in the back does his like, final cannon blast and absolutely ruins Dio, then I don't see any kind of way. Like, they'd all have to, like, hold him hostage or something and sacrifice their own lives so that they could take him out. It's just... Yeah, I don't see any way out on top of this for the people from Kyoto School, especially. Even their teacher. She's gonna dance and, like, improve all of their skills, but I don't think it's gonna help drastically when someone who can pause time 
he's immortal. He can also heal himself and other people who are like with him and stuff, you know, as we saw with, with Pochi throughout um, Jojo. So it's like this dude is just broke. I don't, I don't understand how like, any of the weaker people from Jujutsu Kaisen below special grade had any chance with this man at all. I was even going to say like, this is a vampire with superhuman strength and superhuman durability. Like this vampire might even be able to tackle like ultimate Mechamaru with his with his bare hands. You know, like I can just exactly, see him literally exactly. squaring up with ultimate Mechamaru by himself. And then mm. if he even needs to summon the world, like that's just an added bit of firepower for the Aura Aura Blast. Yeah. Ultimate Mechamaru, even with like his strongest ability that we've seen so far, which was Vision or Pigeon Viola, depending on your translation. Mm. Even if Dio is left he into a bunch himself. of limbs, it's just, he's just gonna come back together and then fuck Mechamaru up. It's over. They're like, they don't have to stick him in a casket in the bottom of the ocean, and even that didn't work, you know? So like, I just, I don't understand how they'd be up to do it. What's Nor Norotoshi gonna do? He's gonna run up. He's gonna have his like sack of blood next to him. He's gonna try doing like that one where he captures them in like a net, and he's gonna have the net fully formed. It's gonna be almost like grabbing around on Dio, and then he's just gonna be like, oh, oh, and it stops, and he just like hops out from in this net, walks over and just, slaps the absolute lie out of Noritoshi. Like, they just don't have a chance. Even he just takes the blood full on, then absorbs it into himself. It's just probably because he can do that. And then he freezes Noritoshi Kamo and breaks his arm or something, you know? <laughs> Flashback to part one right there with the, the freezing ability that he used to have. Yo, that freezing ability that would definitely get some one. use. Yeah, he doesn't really yeah, use exactly. it after part one, unfortunately. But it's, it's I'm pretty sure it's almost confirmed that like he still has that technique. Jujutsu High Faculty, Shoko Eerie with reverse curse technique. In a lot of versus battles, sometimes against the curses, we always have a brief discussion because of positive energy. But even if she can mm. continually heal herself and her lung cancer, she's not going to be able to heal like <laughs> the thousand storm of knives that uh, Dio can just, just throw around, around her. The field. She's just like running around, like trying to heal everyone as he's just time stop pause dead. It's just like, damn it, like not again. Like he's just over the other side. Especially because Dio is going to be treating all these people like ants. Like we see how mm, Dio mm. interacts with like civilians, especially after he's achieved the world and his complete stand and is fully integrated with Jonathan uh, Joestar's body. Literally like yeah. yelling at that random girl in like the jewelry store, like give me my leg. Like, what the hell is wrong yeah. with you? And then he just kills her. Like, and even before in part one, Dio was an asshole to people. So, like, I don't expect him to oh, even yeah. give any this of these people. Like, yeah, like, he's not going to give people any, you know, second thought. Yeah, uh, You know, like, now here's a person who we can stay in the realm of the Jujutsu students. Inumaki Toge. How do you think, like, cursed speech would interact? God forbid Inumaki can get a sentence off against Dio before mm. the world mm. starts. If Inumaki did it, it might react in some kind of similar way to when he did it on ghetto in the past and everything during jjk zero where it kind of like backfired on him just due to like the overwhelming strength of that person that he's doing it on because that's kind of like how it works and if we put dio into jujutsu kaisen you kind of have to give him that like is his stand a shikigami or is it you know what i mean like we have to kind of like equate it to something in that kind of way but then again it's hard it's hard to actually say whether or not and Yumaki would be able to do anything before he time stop and killed. I think he'd be able to stop him, but it would be at like a drastic detriment to his own health and it would, you know, badly hurt him. Probably put him out of action for quite a while. His throat so. would just get obliterated, his poor little throat. Like yeah. it'd just be coughing up blood. And then not for mm. nothing, like like you said, even if he does stop him, like what is step two? <laughs> like yeah. what are yeah. we doing from like, there? Exactly. How are we taking out this vampire? Are we just continually saying stop? freeze don't move until the sun comes up yeah because like, if they just don't move then he can still talk while he's not moving you know he could just be oh, it's the world oh, and it, it's all done he doesn't get that off he's still likely to lose i feel like in a physical fight against a fully grown man with a, a he can lift a dump truck and throw it at someone without worrying you know oh, and man. pretty much like heal any physical damage that gets done to him because like if yeah. curse speech yeah. like isn't affecting dio i mean not affecting him but if curse speech isn't harming dio or freezing him long enough for someone like inomaki to get a kill even someone like panda who has a much larger offensive build especially in like gorilla mode is still not going to be able to do anything even again if we were to pair characters up because yeah dio's yeah. just going to heal 
come back together. If he wants to play with these guys, he's gonna time stop, fuck with them for like 10 minutes, get bored, oh, and yeah. then off with their heads. And Panda, even if he needs Wait, to be see? killed three times or whatever, like Dio could probably figure out where his cores are and would just use like mm. his open palm hand to just like stab the three cores like in succession, like boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and then Panda's yeah. done. So we saw exactly what he did with Joseph, with the knives and everything, pausing time and then playing with knives and sticking them in front of people and running into their own death pretty much, so. The same can be said for curse users on the same kind of grade level as well, like Granny Ogami or the inverse curse user or Haruto Shigemo, like, Time Stop really mm. is an unbeatable ability in the Jujutsu Kaisen verse. Now, characters yeah. like Haruda is kind of the same thing as like Panda. Like, sure, the miracle technique A is going to let thing. Haruta survive the first couple, six, seven times that Dio kills him. But Dio, yeah. you know what? Haruta is probably someone that Dio would find very cool and be like, you know what, dude? Come hang out with me. Let's Join go. Me. You know, yeah. 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 <laughs> you you seem interesting. Give me my stool uh, yeah, bet. And Haruta is probably into that. Who knows? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. well, you know, he's he's a bit of a creep. He, he'd probably be into that. Exactly. Exactly. Now, people <laughs> like Granny, you know, bringing people back. We can get into if uh, people like Toji Zenin or Maki, um, of course, later into the video, because of course, Ogami's mm. gonna go for the strongest reincarnation that she can go for. But if just based on her own self, we saw how what Toji <laughs> did to her, or rather we didn't see, because we probably didn't want to, I would dare not see what Dio also does to this poor old woman as well. Awasaka, in my yeah. opinion, is the only one that has a chance. And I know you wanted to talk about him specifically. Yeah. I, I feel like he like with the inverse he he can't inverse everything but like perhaps what if he could inverse almost anything you know like what if he was strong enough and he was broken enough to do that i know it wouldn't work because of air and like minute things but if he could inverse time and and stuff it'd be quite interesting to see how we could fight in a uh, a battle with you know the the zombified version of uh dio i'd say he'd still come out losing yeah, he does have like some form of defense. Maybe he can survive his first beat down from Zawildo when he's paused time and then he rolls up on him and starts beating him. He might have put up his inverse technique in time and could have survived that. And Dio could have been like, hmm, what's going on here? What's different about you? Like, what are you? And then he could just do it again and possibly, you know, like figure it out by hitting him a variety of different times with different like strength levels and stuff while time is paused. So this dude has nothing to to do against it he can't counteract it by like i don't know how you would use inverse exactly but like changing the level of how you're predicting someone's strength so that it's inversed he can't do that while well, time's paused so if dio just comes up and hits him with a bunch of different leveling strikes that's so a he'd be done for he'd take one of them brutal hits from like a frog tongue you know what i mean <laughs> the frog tongue hits the nuts mm. i feel like a lot of people would like dio wouldn't even justify fighting like he would just send like a pack of zombies to go eat and in my honest Bro, opinion yeah. first of all that's another great idea for a video would jujutsu kaisen characters be able to survive a zombie apocalypse but th that's beside the point <laughs> like i feel like a lot of these characters wouldn't be able to survive like if dio sicked like 10 20 zombies on them but actually now that i'm yeah. thinking about it if you did sick a pack of zombies on him and a zombie like kind of like lobbed its hand at him that would that just like knock him the fuck out instantly <laughs> yeah. but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like does he know if that's a weak or a strong hit you know can he gauge it in time and like i feel like if you stuck 20 zombies on these dudes a lot of them would struggle like it would be 20 curse spirits you know like just rampant zombies running after them just they wouldn't have any way to go or anything to do especially my bro imagine my with 20 zombies chasing <laughs> her she's got six bullets and her gun and one of them's her construction technique she's done don't make it out the other side she's done like r.i.p what the level of power is that needs to overpower his curse technique like i know megami says that gojo probably could break it i know being turned into a donut probably is something that is stronger than uh, the inverse curse technique <laughs> limit <laughs> so moving probably. along to uh jujutsu kaisen faculty we kind of already talked about someone like utahime but let's go for a little mm. bit more stronger like grade one sorcerers and see if they can kind of stop the demon that has literally obliterated most of the young cast of Jujutsu Kaisen at this point. <laughs> like Kento Nanami, no. Atsuya Kusakabe, Mei Mei, what, like these characters are mm. definitely all strong and I love Mei Mei, I love Nanami. The 7-3 and Bird Strike aren't stopping just freezing everything. No, like maybe Nanami would be able to 
possibly slice off Dio's head, you know, that would definitely be his weakest point in his body, you know, and then he'd have to get his head back to his body, and, and that's a whole thing, you know, that we saw in part one, with that just being a little bit of a, an issue with him sometimes. Maybe, like, strength-wise, then army, if he wasn't weakened or anything like that, would be able to throw hands with Zawaldo for a bit, like, in a hand-to-hand -hand -hand fight, but as soon as, yeah, he goes and uses an ability, it's like kind of over for Nanami. Mean, there's no way he can really counter. Same with, you know, Mei Mei and her bird strike there. There's, it's kind of, yeah, she'd need her brother to just get her out of that situation immediately, bro, if she saw Dale. Like, nah, off to Malaysia or wherever they're heading with a gateway technique of his that he's got. Most likely, Nanami would get in a fight with him and the dude would resort to using his stand or something. And then he'd be like, oh, and roll up and just like suck the blood out of Nanami and do something cruel to him. Turn him into his own zombie, like a stronger zombie or something like that. Because, you know, Dio's a bit of a maniac. He's not someone who's just going to throw away a strong being like that. He'll, he'll want to use him to his own advantage and then have him fight a bunch of other people. Have him fight the other faculty members or Yuji or someone like that. God, yeah. Yuji's trauma just needs to end. What another terrible way for Nanami to just affect Yuji, right? <laughs> That's yeah, so yeah, funny. Yeah. Leave my man alone. I mean, like, yeah, you're right, though. Like, even Kusakabe, uh, they're all physical fighters, oh, yeah, and course. physical fighters are just at this level not going to be able to handle much because their first and foremost problem is going to be getting close to Dio especially with the 7-3 yeah, yeah. even if it does cut off Dio's head we've discussed that doesn't make much of a difference it'll just get put back on and he can still fight even with his head taken off Mei Mei you can argue yeah. has her crows and she can hit him with bird strike from afar which granted if that does hit him I'm sure that would blow his body apart but same kind of yeah. concept it's not going to be able to do anything. The only way to really hurt Dio or get rid of Dio for good is going to be using the sun to your advantage. And if any of these fights yeah. take place at night, or even if they take place during the day, Dio is a crafty enough person and has plenty enough battle IQ and just personal hmm. intelligence, self-sufficiency, and plenty of different techniques and ways that he can use his vampire abilities to keep battles inside and honestly if people are trying to drag the fight outside dio's just smart enough to be like nah i don't need to fight you I'll, that's fine i'll yeah, stay in yeah. here it's it's good or if i'll just yeah. find a way out and fuck off you know dio is just such they'll a smart character break the structure yeah they'd have to like break the structure or something to expose him like he knows that he won't win against daylight he, he's known that for hundreds of years and it's like he ain't gonna risk that by any means at all, no matter what. So he could probably get a lot of these people on his side just by talking to them without them even like realizing it. Especially a lot of the people I feel like from throughout the culling game and afterwards, these new people to, you know, like Jujutsu society and everything. He could probably lose a couple of them to his side. Get like Reggie Star or something over. It'd be pretty interesting. And yeah, we could definitely get into the culling game characters because it's pretty clear. And uh, like, like you said, no matter how we want to argue, time stop is pretty cut and clear for any of these sorcerers that are physical, but even people like Reggie Star, whose curse techniques are very interesting. I think contract recreation gives Reggie Star a lot of things, like being able to literally drop a house on somebody, summon a little moped, or like go on a spa day to restore his stamina. Uh, time hmm. stop. R.I.P. I don't have an idea for Charles uh, Bernard possibly yeah. being able to like beat or outdo Dio's time stop, but it would only it would only work if Dio was. In JoJo's, Dio was still gaining time. Like, he was getting more and more time throughout, like, the series. And the 10 seconds that he had was just the most that we ever saw. And then it's... Imagine if Dio still increasing time, though. It probably wouldn't work. But, say, Charles has 11 seconds of future knowledge because he's gained, like, enough blood from Dio somehow or another. Like, I don't know, maybe he was lost an arm or something. And Charles ran over and took it. And he's used that blood to, like, gain future knowledge of Dio's moves so that he's like one second ahead of how Dio would actually be after that time stop so that he still has some knowledge of what would happen then maybe he could win but I doubt like Charles would actually be able to beat Dio in a physical bout to even start with so it would leave like yeah it's just kind of like maybe he has to full on kill him with his with his pen but I don't know I do but, love uh, that idea because I feel like with the whole vampiric blood kind of concept the the G war staff gaining blood from their opponent and that's what fuels the future site would make sense if it would like overpower and like give him plenty more seconds than someone like hikari's would yeah, however yeah, like yeah. you're pretty much right like charles even if he had that extra second or let's say even give him an extra five seconds he's just not that guy he's just not powerful enough yeah. he's not really a 
a fighter. He just awakened to sorcery not too long ago, so I doubt, like you said, he'd be able to do anything to Dio, let alone kill a vampire. That's going to be... Someone who would, though, I guarantee you, is our man, Higuruma Hiromi, would win, bro. He would win this shit. He'd put Dio in his domain, he'd put him up on trial, and be like, Sir, what have you done? And Dio's just like, oh, damn. <laughs> it's, he's done. He's confiscated. He confiscates his stand. Like, we just could, we would have equated it to the world of Jujutsu in some way. So what's he going to take away from him? What's the confiscation? He'll confiscate his stand. He can't use Time Stop or anything like that. He's going to get the death penalty for what this man has done. He's done the worst of the worst. Like, there's no, there's no doubt about it. I feel like this is probably one of the only Jujutsu characters who might come out on top. You know what I mean? Like, who knows how he's actually going to be able to kill him once he does get you know the death sentence and everything and then he's got his uh, his big gavel that he swings at him and tries to kill him with but i you know i, I don't know what that would do with theo being a vampire how you would get around that like maybe the gavel's light in some kind of way you know what i mean like how it kind of glows yellow maybe that's light in some kind of way and it could kill him in that aspect i don't know the worst advantage that higuruma is gonna have over dio is one, Higuruma has one of the fastest activating domains because of the way that his barrier technique is set up and his mm. innate technique isn't like a sure hit kill. As yeah. soon as Higuruma sees Dio, Dio is one that's going to play with his opponent. Dio is not going to yeah. immediately kill Higuruma, that's just in his nature. Whereas Higuruma, mm. we already know with the way that he fought Yuji, Higuruma is domain Instant expansion man. on the fucking, on the beginning oh. of any kind of violence whatsoever. Dio gets caught in the domain expansion deadly sentencing. He's one, not going to be able to respond or hurt Higuruma in any way or even use the world because no violence can be done inside of Higuruma's territory. And like mm. you said, Dio's got plenty of shit to be put on trial for, found guilty, and given the death <laughs> sentence. I'm willing to even say because the Sword of Extermination, as you mentioned, is a sword of complete light, even with its already given condition of just killing literally whatever it touches, if yeah. the domain expansion confiscates the world that takes away Dio's time stop, which evens the grounds, and although Dio probably is a lot stronger with a superhuman strength, superhuman durability, being able to like heal himself and everything like that, he also has like plenty yeah. of other abilities that we haven't really touched on because frankly he has like had no need to use them. Mm. Hypnosis, he can control, uh, you know, people that are easily controlled. Obviously, Higuruma is probably pretty strong to avoid that. His freezing technique, yeah. as we alluded to before, he can literally just absorb heat from any living being he comes into contact with. So as he mm -hmm. and Higuruma are kind of throwing hands back and forth and fighting, Dio can start freezing his limbs and stopping Higuruma. And uh, not for nothing, this man can also shoot fucking laser beams from his eyes. I can't even... Yeah. How did we forget that? Like, this... Who, this guy doesn't even yeah. need to get close to <laughs> a lot of these one, people. So. He's just going to be fucking bing from his fucking eyes yeah. and they're donezo. I don't want to say that Dio doesn't have any way to defend himself if we take the world away. The world is frankly just an amplification of his already strong mm. and intense, overwhelming aura in the Jujutsu Kaisen verse. Well, we might as well we could bring her in here a second because I guess she is someone else that might have a have a chance. But Hanakurasu with her angel's technique and the whole like light aspect and god, that area of the technique would most likely in my eyes vanquish the evil or this like the vampire side killing Dio like with a beam of sunlight. It's just like this good. It's good. You know what I mean? Whereas vampire bad, it should it should kill it. That's like how my brain's thinking as well. It goes with the sword of extermination. It should kill Dio, but then again, I would definitely see Higuruma getting caught off guard, kind of like he did against Yuji. Yuji was an extremely, like, um, he's an extremely interesting fighter who will use his surroundings to his utmost, you know, like, to help him win any fight possible. We've seen that against Choso, we've seen that against Higuruma, how he, th these chairs flying at him, man starts dodging through the chairs, going underneath the legs and stuff, like, it's actually crazy. So I'd imagine Dio, being himself, you know, would probably be able to do some pretty cheeky stuff and catch um, you know, Higuruma off guard. But I'd, I'd like to say Higuruma wins, you know, give our man, give our man the, uh, the plus. He's the only one so far, but <laughs> yeah. Congrats to Higuruma and potentially Angel, because you really bring up a good point mm. about Jacob's Ladder, and that is instant win against anyone who is just pure evil. Even back in part one of JoJo's, plenty of people allude to Dio just being the devil himself. Like he, this man, even from day one of being born was just a piece of shit. 
So it, <laughs> Jacob's Ladder is definitely just full on eliminating everything this man is. Unfortunately, yeah. Angel, because it deals in cursed techniques, if you want to argue we're balancing everything, if you want to say stands and cursed energy and everything curse related is going to be intertwined, Potentially, we could also say that Jacob's Ladder would immediately cut off Dio's connection to the world as well. And if that's the case, yeah, 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 Angel can stay up in the sky and just erase Dio from the world. Where if Dio yeah, does still have, him. yep, if Dio does still have the world, then you know, uh, then he can time stop, stop all the damage, and probably kill uh, Hana and Angel because they don't seem too crafty other than that. I wonder, like, just the light that would appear in the sky above him would start, like, burning Dio away. Yeah, that's just, like, I feel like that's the only way Hannah would win it. You, you, complete surprise attack, catches him off guard, kind of like she did with Sakona in a way, but he trolled the absolute shit out of her. Dio knows she's coming. No way. He's just going to time stop before she's even there. He's just going to keep time stopping and just looking for her, and then she's done. No. They might be some of the only culling game players that have a chance besides one specific person that I'm also thinking of that we just had a major fight with. Because let's be honest, mm. even if Dio went to like Sendai Colony and fought people like Dhruv, uh, Ishigori, or Oro oh, yeah. with Sky Manipulation, the massive curse energy output, and Granite Blast. Now, like, while Dio would probably find them interesting, a lot more interesting than plenty of the characters that we've discussed so far, Sky Manipulation would probably be very cool in a hand to hand fight with Dio. Um, again, the world time stop. Uh, Granite Blast. <laughs> yeah definitely gives Ishigori plenty of options to stay far away from Dio. As Diavolo just mentioned, Dio can literally just continually time stop over and over again to just get closer and closer and closer to his opponent and then literally mm. just donut hole them uh, as he so likes yeah. to do. Mm. It's his favorite. It's his favorite. He just drain them of their blood and leave them there on the ground. He was just hungry, you know, and he just needed a feed. He already has an okay, you know, like he wasn't... It wasn't even worth fighting. He was just hungry. Speaking of funny, the other culling game player, probably the only other one that I would say would have a very fun and interesting time with the vampire man would be Fumihiko Takabo with the comedian curse technique, mm. which as we mm. know is basically like an insane ability that just allows you to impress your imagination on not only the other person and your opponent, but the world itself. Like. Takaba is yeah, just yeah. making Kenjaku Bandit Keith, <laughs> making a Yu-Gi-Oh yeah, joke. I know, that's so good. It's so good. <laughs> and especially after he gets his evolution with his curse technique, after coming to terms with being a comedian, and he can just run yeah. full-on simulations with the other person to the point where he literally takes no damage whatsoever, no matter what happens in the simulation, while the other person just gets more and more worn down. And Battle of Attrition is really hard when you're fighting a vampire, um, because the stamina that they have probably wouldn't run out. Um, and as we know that no matter how strong yeah. of will and of strong of mind you are, fucking Kenjaku could barely remember that he was fighting the man that he's in all these simulations with. So if Kenjaku, yeah. the mastermind behind thousands of years of plotting and masterminding, can't withhold his body from Takaba's funny simulations, I don't think Dio can. Um, but I also don't yeah. think Dio can be killed unless Takaba just literally summons the sun in a simulation. Yeah. Actually, oh my god. It's actually a pretty good unless he like just has him with him until he's until it's daytime. Doesn't even know where he is just standing there in a simulation. <laughs> and it's daytime all of a sudden the dude's burning up. Yeah. Bringing the sun in though, that's like a it would 100% work, I think. Yeah, it would like, literally obliterate him, and Takaba would like be like, yeah. wait, no, what happened to you, my guy? Like, he, because yeah, I completely... I'm not meant to kill. Yeah, like, that would 100% like completely unintentional, <laughs> because you're right, he can't kill people, yeah. but I feel like that would be the one instance where like... <laughs> he, it would. Oh, man. Or it's, like, it's, it just reduces him to a pile of ash, and then Dio is just like uh, eyes with like a mouth on like the pile of ash <laughs> for the rest of his life. Could he still use the <laughs> world? Uh-oh. Blood to heal. It's just a pile of ash using oh, just on the spot. I couldn't. That's what JoJo's. Even, that's a bizarre. A that's a bizarre adventure if I ever heard one. You know someone else who we haven't mentioned yet, but could actually have some sort of po possibility in winning this is uh, Karara Hoshi. So, yes. Like, the idea behind her is because like she's probably gonna die. Time stop and killed no matter what. 
However, if he Dio does get hit by like one of these things, or his stand gets hit by one of these things, then he'll have to figure out his entire pathway of figuring out where to go and everything. Like he won't be able to damage her for that period of time, or like he'd be able to pause time and everything, but he wouldn't be able to do anything to her until he figures out how to get out of there and everything. And what would happen with his stand? Would his stand merge, you know, like into him if she applied a, you know, a motor or whatever to the stand and then it would automatically apply to him. And then if a stand got too close to him, him, it would like combine with him and explode but then again like the stand automatically is almost like an application of one's soul so does it just merge back into your body it's like there's so many things that could happen with Karara's technique she might win but yeah I think majority of the time Dio is still just going to be able to time stamp even even if he doesn't time stop he'd probably just be able to figure it out because he's extremely smart I was gonna say him, you know, eventually and take her out this is a man who like has red for like just for fun like in years, like the dark yeah. Like he yeah, doesn't, he dodge. probably, it wouldn't surprise me if he knew like the uh, star constellation, everything like that. And again, Dio does have pretty strong yeah, battle true. IQ, but Kirara is always mm. fun in these things because the whole way that love rendezvous works is super annoying if you can't figure it out. But again, I feel like Dio would figure it out. Now, some of these people with complicated yeah, yeah. curse techniques are going to have a little bit more of like a survival time against him. But like you said, like Dio is still going to be able to come out on top because one curse technique that I thought would be really interesting to go up against time stop because we didn't really talk too much about the Zenin clan. And trust me, the more important people will get mm. into. But most of those Zenin clan members are fodder, not doing anything whatsoever, even with Janichi's giant yeah. or aura however now bito zenin and now he is zenin with projection sorcery the whole turning one second into 24 frames and then freezing the person and then moving it it's almost very similar to time stop but it's only for one second if you can touch the person and make it actually work mm. i also would be curious how that projection sorcery would work literally inside of time stop for those 10 seconds like if that would give them the ability to move uh, for like one mm. second uh, and especially because we know that it gives them the ability to one move over long distances and move from one location to the other in such a huge burst of speed i think dio would probably be able to figure out the 24 frames eventually but to start with i've it'd be a lot like dagon with him being quite like surprised with how quickly they're moving and like how quickly they're they're just able to go from one location to another because it'll look like they're almost pausing time themselves and like disappearing from one location and appearing in another but and i think that would actually work to their advantage to start with as well because if you have theo he loves fucking over talking like crazy and being like there's a world it takes like a second and a half two seconds to get that off you know what i mean like if you're naoya over here you're crazy you, you you do anything for like the murder so you roll in and you just instantly use your 24 a second projection sorcery it's like it probably they'd probably be fast enough to be able to do damage and consistently do damage against them but it's are they able to hold him off until like daylight comes are they able to like it would use up so much of their curse energy i would imagine like constantly using their you know inherited ability over and over and over again the biggest thing for me is going to be the it's really a battle of one second to 10 seconds and that's yeah. what settles it for me with uh dio getting the win like no matter how much they're able to fight it would definitely be very impressive Dio would probably think so as well because we know he's very cheeky and he loves hmm. someone that's going to impress him. But unfortunately, they're going to meet their end because, again, one second to 10 second, Dio just has the advantage in every possible way. So before we get into some of the bigger hitters in the series, because we've mostly talked about all of the lower people, mid tier people, and we're getting into some very high, potentially very special grade level people. We did not talk mm. about the main Jujutsu Kaisen trio, Itadori Yuji, Megumi Fushigoro, Nobura Kugasaki. Now you may ask why we've left them out for so long. And that's just because the outcome is not going to go very well for them, unfortunately. Sadly not. Yuji can't divergent first time, sadly so it's not yeah. going to work for him yeah he's he's done man like it's, it's he's strong and he'd probably take quite a few hits from you know Zawoldo and stuff but i doubt 
he'd last like more than he'd, he'd be like over that five panel spread you know like it'd be like that with yuji man like the dude would just like five panels of just punches and punches and Dio would be like why is he not going down <laughs> and then eventually he'd be able to like put him out of his misery and stuff he'd be like damn you were strong but you're dead now <laughs> and then he'd walk off but like that's kind of how i would see it happening what if like the stand being like an abject you know projection of one soul yuji is able to hit that deal damage back to Dio because that's like you know they do take damage through their stands and everything so i wonder you know if yuji would be able to you know, maybe deal a punch or two in there dude's gonna eventually lose though but yeah i'm just trying to trying to help my man out <laughs> honestly i've got enough stocks in yuji that i'll give him a fucking stand he'll just awaken one for all i care at the end of the day no matter what yuji does he definitely puts up a a, a good fight uh, if you want to say a good fight is just lasting very long and even people yeah. like megami and nobro who don't have his physical feats are unfortunately just going down like megami with his domain expansion chimera shadow garden all his different shikigami are just not doing much dio's gonna be able to time stop take them out one by one each and every yeah. specific one same as nobra she's just gonna get murked soul resonance i mean would probably do damage to dio i would actually think it would be interesting to see like how that stand, would act yeah. with like his vampiric body or like you said the stand because it is just a manifestation of that person's fighting spirit resonance may be able to do damage to dio and damage in a sense of that's lethal but nobra is not adept enough in battle nor is she strong enough to actually use her ability we saw that mm. when she fought maito she could do all the damage but wasn't strong enough to actually make any use of it so unfortunately that's going yeah. to be a l in that aspect the only chance Megami has as well, like, he's pr he probably doesn't get it out, but would be just launching Maharaga, and then Maharaga manages to, like, adapt to Time Stop, which would be kind of funny, just, like, just imagining that in my head is quite funny. Time Stop and Maharaga's just casually walking around inside of it, like, the dude doesn't care. And, like, Megami dies with that as well. That's, like, him against Shigimo. He's, like, throwing up his hands, his gang signs, to get out Maharaga in his last final moment of being alive, and then he's going to be in suspended animation after he gets swacked off to the side. Basing it off of Dio's personality, I would think that uh, Megami would probably be able to get Maharaga off because he'd be like, oh, what's this? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And then, like like you said, Maharaga probably would beat Dio because Maharaga would yeah. be able to adapt to not only just the world, but be able to adapt his hits to the vampiric yeah. he'd probably be able to learn hamon on the spot and just start beating the shit out of dio with yeah. hamon to like stomp him I out i feel like he'd be physically stronger than him as well like he'd yep. actually be just stronger like he'd just win the battle like maharaga is such a, a big beast it took so much for sakuna to even take him down dio doesn't have these slashing and cutting kind of abilities he's got a lot of like physical strength where he can deal damage but there's no way he'd actually be able to i think kill maharaga it would just be a time thing of maharaga learning all of his abilities and then vanquishing him. I mean, Dio does have two abilities. Like, he has the freezing technique, and then he has just his own basic, mm. like, attacks, and I mean, I... Yeah, I just don't think Dio... Dio does have two abilities, but yeah, I don't see him getting a win over Maharaga. I definitely give Maharaga a W on that one. Now, I think it's kind of very similar uh, when we bring up someone like Hikari, and that Hikari... If, God forbid, let's mm. say, with the fast domain expansion, even though, unlike Higuruma, it doesn't completely negate the world while inside the domain expansion, which is going to be Hakari's biggest downfall, because if he can't get that jackpot off, no matter how strong yeah. Hakari is, how fast Hakari is, uh, one, he can't even, he doesn't have the means to kill a vampire besides waiting for sun. And two, yeah. Dio is still superhuman, super durable, and strong enough to whack Hakari around in base form. So again, unless Dio is just curious to let Hikari get jackpot off, which in a mortal mode, he has a little bit better of a chance, but he's just not know, taking the just, win on that one. It, even with that, like how many times is he going to be able to consecutively keep jackpot going? And I feel like he would be able to get Dio inside of one just because Dio's cocky. But as soon as Dio realized he's like amped up, he's stronger than he was before, he'd be like, oh, I'm time to deal with you now you know like you're at your peak or whatever it's very similar to the maharaga fight in which if hikari gets jackpot off he just keeps coming back but he doesn't have the adaptability yeah. which is the worst thing about it i mean yeah compare that to someone like kashimo the opponent of hikari who is definitely just as strong as jackpot hikari when it comes to physical stats unfortunately he doesn't mm. have the immortality or the regeneration to be able to heal from any damage that dio does against him or 
or, you yeah. know, really anything to do against Time Stop in general. The Lightning Bolt is probably a very quick move to get off, but Kashimo That's... does need to properly set it off and mark his opponent yeah. with the positive, positive. energy or negative yeah. energy. So, unfortunately, when it comes to base Kashimo, he's kind of at a very huge disadvantage and Dio probably wouldn't be able to come out on top. But yeah. Curse Technique released Kashimo with the ability to control everything under the phenomena of electricity. Do you think that changes anything? Yeah, I really do because like electricity is like up to 90% of light speed. I feel like if you're moving at that speed, you're able to probably get there before this dude can say anything or do anything. Like Sukuna was only able to beat this guy because he's just so like, he's better you know what i mean like he's built different i'd be able to see like beams of lightning at him like he did with um sakuna dio's just not gonna have time and maybe all of a sudden he's boom hit by a, like a lightning blast which i feel like it's gonna actually do quite a lot of damage to dio even in like being a vampire it's light maybe there's some form of like it burns him quite a bit i think the biggest thing for kashimo with his curse technique is because he controls literally everything to do with electricity if he's able to figure out that light is going to be dio's biggest weak point with electricity and with the power to just control it in any way shape or form with electromagnetism he's able to irradiate things and then vaporize them mm. i have no doubt in my mind that my man can literally like conjure up a bunch of lightning and as you said like cast light on dio that's able to and it doesn't necessarily need to be sunlight because we know ultraviolet light is also very effective against one the vampires and the pillar men later in yeah. part two so even yeah. if uh kashimo is able to create any form of that light and cast it onto dio and with just the overwhelming control he has over electricity he could make it where it's kind of like an omnidirectional thing and completely surround mm. dio so I have no doubt in my mind that Kashimo unleashed. I mean, obviously, if it's not Sakuna, he's going to release his curse technique. Kashimo would much rather die. So it might not be very yeah. canon. Kashimo, realistically, if he just left it to base form, probably would just let Dio kill him before he released Mythic Beast Amber. But I'm just saying I, another yeah. interesting discussion would be the character of Suguru Geto, one of the special grade sorcerers of the entire verse. We're really getting into the, the creme de la creme here uh curse spirit manipulation is definitely really versatile in the universe like the ability to mm. just have all these different curse spirits we've even seen kenjaku use it to an insane degree with mixing it in with hand-to-hand -hand combat using different leveled curse spirits and amplifying them with your cursed energy and even summoning like insane special grade spirits like the ganesha spirit with mm. which just mm. like what removes any obstacle in its path it removes concepts from reality do we sure. think that would do anything against Dio specifically like if these people had that kind of curse and that power it, it depends what the concept is as we saw with like Yuki and stuff so like it wasn't able to remove her concept of mass manipulation or whatever it was or like the black hole because it was too great of a concept like that concept is I guess tied to reality in some kind of way so maybe concepts that are tied to reality are probably too hard for it to break but maybe if it's just a concept like a fire manipulation concept where they're shooting off abilities it's able to break that one down and they're not no longer able to use it or something but yeah i feel like time itself is a concept that is probably too strong for ganesha to even want to try and remove from you know like existed it's Makes time just doesn't exist anymore because he's removed it like it just doesn't it wouldn't work i don't think that but would realistically some... be the only way unless you it, like it depends on your perspective yeah. i guess on that specific topic of if they're able to eliminate time stop with ganesha or not realistically would be the only way but i don't yeah i don't see any other way get, um ghetto's same person ghetto suguru or kenjaku is going to be able to get in there you know it's um it's a bit rough for curse spirit manipulators because they have like some dope curses that have really cool effects but as you said it's strong inside the world of like jujutsu kaisen not really in other worlds you know like unless these beasts have effects that are broken kind of like ganesha it's not really going to help him in other worlds or against other fighters and stuff even with any kind of curse spirit with domain expansion or any kind of technique that they can summon it's just not going to be able to do anything against time stop and if they can't remove that as an obstacle curse spirit manipulation yeah. isn't going to do anything now gravity is definitely in kenjaku's case specifically a pretty viable curse technique to fight dio with in my honest opinion like being able to crush him yeah you know defend against most attacks 
attacks that are going to be able to be shot against Kenjaku because again Dio does have you know laser beam eyes he does have the ability to freeze if he gets too close yeah. to you if it does become a hand-to-hand -hand. and also you can't forget the muda muda punch blast that he has with the world at the end of the day if time yeah. stop doesn't work so Kenjaku and gravity helps when it comes down to fighting Dio if he does stop time stop his domain expansion also greatly increases the range of gravity and keeping on that special grade train especially after just talking about kenjaku we can move right into yuki sukumo with her mass manipulation mm. wrath of the star curse technique as well as her shikigami garuda her awesome skills at field goals and soccer kicks because holy yeah. crap that's definitely going to be something that blows dio's <laughs> skull into pieces she definitely has a lot of different things to do because mass manipulation is an interesting curse technique just like gravity would be when it comes to fighting mm. a character that even though they're very strong with superhuman strength and superhuman durability that mass manipulation is definitely going to let yuki overpower dio which is something he has never encountered yeah. up and on this list until this point yeah well she can make garuda as heavy as like three planets or you know what i mean like something ridiculous and then kick it like i don't like dio maybe he could stop it with his stand like that's probably the only but if he hits if he takes that head on done no way like it's garuda's ripping him apart i feel like but if he puts out time stop as the thing's coming towards him then he can just dodge it you know quite easily and walk up and yuki's done but i don't know yeah the biggest thing for yuki is her reverse curse technique with which which lets her heal to a degree we know is relatively oh, yeah. powerful and also yuki's not afraid to fight someone even if she gets harmed and messed up she was fighting kenjaku to yeah, the yeah. tooth and nail with her like arm and leg completely mangled and like fucked up i love that panel of kenjaku being like heal yourself and she's like i don't wanna like Yuki's yeah, gonna bring wanna, that yeah. kind of rage into every fight she's in. She's not afraid to get down and dirty. Yeah. And like you said, Dio's main help here is gonna be his time stop because freezing, Yuki's got the mass to shatter every kind of freezing ability. Laser beams, Yuki's yeah. gonna be fast enough to dodge it. Anything that Dio can do physically is not not gonna help him here. Even regeneration to a certain degree because like you said, if Yuki does get that soccer ball blast off with Garuda or any kind of variation of an attack and blows Dio's head off. Sure, Dio won't be dead, but it's going to take him a very long time to rebuild his entire head from pieces. Orias often has to like get his head and put it back on the body. You know what I mean? Like he could, he can grow like parts of his body, but he needs like blood or he needs some other form of some way to like regenerate. It's not like reverse curse technique that they can almost abuse it in, in some kind of ways especially when you get to the even stronger people like gojo where they can absolutely abuse reverse curse technique especially if it's just a 1v1 and yuki is able to start dealing proper damage to him then yeah he's he's not going to be able to heal back up he's going to constantly lose blood because yuki's so like broken like when time stop ends she just re uses reverse curse technique i don't know it's not really known how well she's able to use it or how, how like consistently she can use it you know like at least she can survive quite a few time stops possibly and then you know like, all she needs is to get a little bit of damage off with garuda and it's kind of like then it can all just pile on from that moment onwards for her but yeah it's hard it's that moment of having to get garuda off we do know that like really critical hits will take yuki out despite her regeneration like kenjaku does with the mini mm. uzumakis so if dio can like donut hole her which unironically is what happens to her in jujutsu kaisen to a certain degree oh, yeah. uh then that definitely will be the end of yuki so dio's main advantages yeah. for one especially when it comes to like you said their even physical battle is Dio is kind of, you can almost consider like a 2v1 because of his stand, the world. This is honestly one of the first mm. battles where, I mean, granted, you could argue that some of the other higher tier characters may end up with this kind of fight as well. But Dio is going to be using the world to also fight Yuki at the same time he might be as well. Like the world is definitely going to be involved throwing punches at Yuki and everything that Dio yeah. can do to stay alive because he's going to recognize that this woman is a threat, just like Kenjaku did. It, this is honestly, like Diavolo said, one of the most interesting battles that we've encountered so far. It is relatively very even, and both characters do actually have a significant number of win conditions to themselves. So it really comes up to mm. your interpretation and who you think is going to come out on top, but this is probably the mm. most 50-50 battle we've run into. 
And it really makes it interesting to think about how other characters in the special grade status are going to interact with characters like Dio. And obviously, Mm -hmm. someone like Yuta is going to be a very heavy hitter with all the different things that he can also do. But before we get into him, how does someone with next to no cursed energy whatsoever interact with a character that can legitimately stop time? Maki Zenin, Toji Mm -hmm. Fushigoro... Mm -hmm. Two characters that we know, despite being controversially known, um, are pretty much almost equal in power. So we can kind of scale them up together. Toji has different curse tools. Maki has less experience. But going up against Time Stop, how do we feel like Heavenly Restriction is going to interact? And do we think it can survive long enough to actually harm or do any damage to the vampire? Toji and Maki, probably the dirtiest out of anyone so far. I feel like just Dio alone, he, he has, you know, improved senses in himself. I feel like he'd be able to feel like hear them coming see them coming and stuff just like he he doesn't have necessarily curse energy unlike everyone else so far he has to be able to physically like win this fight this is this is the only condition that like is in it for him he needs to be able to physically be stronger than them i feel like he would have to use the world oh and some kind of you know like aspect with the fight and and helping him do this and stuff i'm pretty sure we have seen that happen as well where zawildo implants flesh bloods into people's brains these flesh buds which you'd probably be able to remove if you had curse energy by using like an extremely precise usage of it to remove them from the brain and whatnot i feel like toji and maki would be stuffed they don't have curse energy or any way to actually remove the flesh bud from their brain and they're just going to eventually be under the control of you know dio (laughs) at least that's what i've gone with here that's how i feel like they would uh lose this fight but there's no major defense that they have apart from their insanely strong like speed and strength like there's no other way that like dio is already insanely fast and insanely strong himself so unless they're drastically faster and stronger than him i don't see them actually wanting this yeah superhuman abilities versus superhuman abilities on physical stats these characters are also very even as well and you hit the nail Mm. on the head when it comes to dio is actually a character that isn't going to be at the same kind of disadvantage that a lot of other characters are going to be when we deal with cursed energy chakra spiritual pressure Mm. all of these different things because frankly Dio, as you mentioned, with his vampiric senses, can just see human movement at a higher degree than anyone. So whether the fact that yeah. Toji or Maki has no energy trail does not matter in this in this fight. Even though Toji yeah. and Maki have strong extrasensory abilities of their own and are going to be able to go head to head with a vampire pretty evenly, in my opinion. Physical freezing, his laser beams aren't going to be able to do much in this battle. Um, because I think, again, they're pretty neck and neck. Where it comes to the Heavenly Restriction users, where they actually have more hope in the battle is going to be their curse tools. Not so much Playful yeah. Cloud, which yeah. could probably do a lot of damage to Dio, but again, we know being able to regenerate, whatever. Uh, we have things like the Inverted Spear of Heaven, Soul which slice. if you can actually, or even Soul Slice, yeah, like Soul Slice ignores mm. durability, uh, so it may actually yeah. even be able to cut something like the world, which we know is going to cause significant yeah. damage yeah. to Dio. But specifically when it comes to the vampiric abilities, depending on how you feel like the Inverted Spear of Heaven interacts with supernatural things such as that, do you think the Inverted Spear of Heaven would like, if actually driven into like Dio's heart, almost like a stake? does that kind of count is that canon (laughs) yeah yeah no why not dude eh? why not yeah (laughs) but yeah like time stop is a huge factor in this battle uh characters like maki have specifically shown um up against projection sorcery that they have the senses to adapt and battle iq to figure out things like projection sorcery but we can kind of talk about uh, we already talked about it where it's one second versus 10. Like Maki was able to figure out the frames Mm. of one second. Is she going to be able to realize she's getting her ass beat in 10 seconds that she doesn't necessarily realize what's going on? And obviously maybe Dio can't kill her or Toji in one attack, but after multiple, I I think the, the loser of the battle of attrition is going to be Toji Maki. How like he deals with a lot of the people when he does time stop as well. He doesn't necessarily like beat the absolute hell out of them while time's frozen. You know, he'll throw knives and he'll he'll put objects in front of them and stuff. You know, like he'll ruin their day with like a blade instead. You know, like Maki might all of a sudden have a fraction of a second where she needs to like whack a blade out of a millimeter away from her throat or something like that. You know, as we saw with Joseph. So like it could equate to, you know, maybe Dio not exactly taking them too seriously to start with. And he's just kind of playing around with them, throwing stuff at them and then over 
time he's like oh yeah maybe i need to need to deal with them in actuality and brings out zawildo properly beats the absolute hell out of them in times frozen but until that moment i'd imagine he'd play around with them quite a bit you know and then they might catch him off guard if he doesn't exactly do it correctly another wild mm. card where maki and toji are kind of the maximum body of jujutsu kaisen i want to throw out of left field even though this is sorcerer battles mahito into the fray who's kind of maximum soul mm. you know mr spirit himself with idol transfiguration a character that we know because of the way that his curse technique works he actually doesn't really take physical damage, kind of similar almost to the way Dio does, but can't be killed unless you do a very specific thing to them. We know that Mahito yeah. can only be harmed at the level of the soul. And with Idol Transfiguration, he may even be able to just completely override the whole vampire sun aspect of things, because if Mahito gets a nice little palm touch on Dio, mm. Dio does have a soul and may be able to alter or affect the stand the world and if yeah you know mahito can just blow up the stand the world who's to say dio doesn't turn into a bunch of pieces and because it's spirit damage instead of actual human damage the vampire might be completely toast at least turned yeah. into small pieces until the sun comes out to wash him away so it's pretty you know they're pretty they're pretty similar if you ask me so i feel like mahito out of everyone a lot of like curse spirits and stuff he definitely has the greatest chance to do something here all he, all he needs to do is like he just has to get his hands on the world though and as soon as he does that it's kind of done for deal like, like imagine mahito grabbing someone's soul like you're fucked you're absolutely done there's no chance you're like how do you even win he already has your soul your body's just gonna start changing while he's playing around with it in front of you and you're like nah this is this is done with curse energy and jujutsu kaisen and bodies and souls and everything the soul is like representative of the body so if you change the soul the body will also you know change as well so it, it would be kind of funny watching like, mahito playing around with like the world in front of dio while he's just getting like twisted and contorted but he's still alive because of his vampiric like form set you know what i mean like but i feel like with mahito here as well can dio actually even strike him without a weapon like if he uses his stand will that counteract on him by touching mahito like how does that like, i've never i never thought about that in jujutsu kaisen until now is it because of the curse energy they're flowing around their fists that when they punch mahito they're able to touch him and that doesn't transfigure them or is it because mahito isn't necessarily trying to do it from that section of his body you know what i mean i'm pretty sure when toto like claps his hand when he's fighting Mahito uh, with Yuji, that's actually what kills yeah. his boogie woogie. As soon as he claps his hand, yeah, bro, yeah. Toto is like, wow, I really got lucky with that one. Like any longer, if my hand touched him, that could have been it. So like even any yeah, kind yeah. of, like you said, like any kind of physical barehanded strike is just opening Mahito up to idle transfiguring you. Unless you're Itadori mm. Yuji, which Dio is definitely not. So that's a really good point as well. It just severely limits yeah. what Dio can do. And even if Dio, like he has to resort to using his projectile knives, which isn't going to do much against Mahito, especially when he no, can just no. repair, just shape shift, do whatever he needs to. Now, Mahito, I feel like most likely wins this battle just because of Dio's like, his knowledge, he doesn't have on Mahito. Mahito doesn't need to have knowledge on this dude. He would probably just go into it. Like, who cares if he gets cut in half because he can just kind of remake that bottom half. You know, he's a curse spirit. As he, if he gets low on curse energy, he'll just run away and wait till it builds back up. That's, you know, that's his nature as a as a curse spirit whereas dio just doesn't have any idea who he is what his abilities are how it works or anything like that and yeah i feel like mahito would definitely win because of his inexperience with that and mahito also has domain expansion on top of this so it's not even like oh yeah let's say dio is time stopping and keeping his distance from mahito if mahito just casts domain and is able to catch dio inside of it immediately in the palm of his hand and idle transfiguration and the battle is over. So yeah. Mahito also has a huge win condition on that aspect as well. Mahito mm. is, like you said, one of those anomalies where he actually really does come out on top. Same as Higuruma, where ultimately stats Dio is stacked. But let's see how those stats yeah. work against another special grade sorcerer, the new number one of Jujutsu Kaisen, Okotsu Yuta, with his ability to copy curse techniques and the most mm. amount of curse energy in the entire series besides people like Sukuna or Gojo. If we're going to consider how characters like Maki or Hikari deal with Dio, oh, we know that well. physically 
you know, maybe pretty even, maybe pretty equal, especially with Rika. You know, actually, Yuta has yeah. a stand of his own, so that should be really cool to see how that yeah. actually interacts physically. But time stop Rika is versus, gonna be another thing. So yeah, Rika versus the world and Yuta versus Dio over in the back, you know, it could be, it, it would actually be pretty cool to watch. I feel like Rika and the world would be extremely close strength wise, but with Rika just having a little bit more win conditions because she has a bunch more abilities, whereas the world just kind of has punches. It doesn't really, I don't, from memory, it doesn't have any like crazy plasma beam ability that it could just send out and absolutely destroy like Rika and exercise the spirit or something. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It's whereas Rika's got like a like a complete arsenal of different things. Like she is the main reason why why Yuta is so freaking strong to start with. Like he can only copy things while she's out. He's got like the massive dual blast while she's out. It's just you know like while Rika is out for five minutes, I feel like Yuta might have a chance. But it all goes back to does Dio again just pause time and beat the absolute light out of you know Yuta, who probably isn't physically as strong as someone like Yuji and would be able to take that like five page panel beating and then chucked in a dumpster he'd most likely probably take you know like a panel or two of just straight beatings and then it'd be be done i would imagine you know the jojo style yuta's big thing is going to be his reverse curse technique and ability to heal especially with his oh, high course, yeah. amount of cursed energy it's going to regenerate him from most damage that dio does to him but yeah. with the vampire yeah. powers here this may be one of the first options where because yuta can just keep healing himself regardless of how you feel like stamina interacts dio might just choose to mm. ultimately like all right i'm just going to suck your blood out if that's the case if you're just going to keep healing i'm just yeah. going to do something that you're not going to be able to fix and and also, mm -hmm. the, like you said, Yuta does have plenty of abilities that's going to be able to fight against Dio. Time stop uh. is a very big thing in this, but it, it comes down yeah. to a battle of attrition. And if Yuta is able to get some kind of kill shot or some kind of sun move that damages Dio in enough mm. time before A, he either runs out of cursed energy or two, Dio finds a way to actually, you know, beat him and Rika. I feel like Yuta with his, his curse speech might be a little bit better than Inumaki feared. He could do like a, like, don't move until sun, like, don't move until sun up or some shit. You know what I mean? Like, just something crazy. And Dio, because he's just got a lot more curse energy and he's a lot stronger naturally of a person, might be able to withhold the side effects of saying something as crazy as that to, like, Dio. Getting this man to stay there just in the sun until he dies. I don't know. Like, it's so hard to know with Yuta because now he's just, like, the goat. You know what I mean? Like, he's the dude who pulls up and does what needs to be done having so much like i guess charisma and confidence in himself like man's like i will kill kenjaku he's apparently he's done it now so like well you know like, what's going on like you do you do it's a man of his word so I he's also like canonically he's faster than a black hole now so can dio even react in time to this man's speed this is definitely it, one know? where uh, it completely comes down to how you think the fight goes and what happens, yeah. how long it goes for, what location it's in, are these two characters yeah. aware of the people they're going up against to fight? But someone that I think is a little bit more concrete when it comes to their victory, mm. who is, or was rather, the strongest in the modern era, Satoru Gojo, the man, the myth, the legend himself with the six eyes and the limitless, going up against mm. Time Stop, which Time Stop is going to meet its match for the first time when it comes to Limitless because we kind of talked about this before the video. What is Dio going to do even if he stops time against infinite space? Fucking nothing. Yeah. And Gojo's like, even if he takes damage, Gojo has so much reverse curse technique, like a, the option. He could just, he can repair his body like 12 times over. It doesn't even matter, but he won't even take damage because how is Dio supposed to be able to punch Gojo when he can't get through infinity. He's probably going to lose this fight here. I'd say Dio was it's not coming up, coming out on top. It's like all Gojo needs is just one hit, like one good proper hit with like hollow purple. And if he gets that off, it's done, you know, like, and, and he can even just do the one that hurts him. Do the one that, you know, like the exploding nuclear styled hollow purple and take himself out and just repair himself. Like while Dio probably dies to the light coming off this blast. I don't know. Maybe the light coming off the blast is enough to kill him. I doubt it would be. It's like it is an imaginary blast. So they probably just render him helpless until morning where he wouldn't be able to move, you know, unless he can find all of his body parts and somehow get them back together and then drain blood and make it out. But, you know, Dio just, he ain't getting through that infinity here. The Limitless is too much. And what can, what can Gojo's eyes read? Can he read? Can he look at this dude and know that he has a time ability? Like, how does, you know, like, what a, 
What's his eyes telling him when he shows up for this fight too? The six eyes definitely would one, let him know that Dio is a vampire or at least different than a regular human being. The six eyes would let him see the world, maybe give him a couple stats and a rundown on how the ability works. And I think mm -hmm. if anything, if you don't want to say that the world would stop Gojo, but maybe the six eyes would even let Gojo see what happens during this time stop in real time. Yeah, he might not yeah. be able to move, but the six eyes we know are very powerful like you said it basically mm. fuels gojo to have infinite cursed energy he can regenerate any damage that dio actually somehow manages to inflict but again with infinity nothing is coming anywhere close in dio even with his stand at maximum yeah. power has nothing that can bypass all of that space ultimately when it comes down to it unlimited void is always an option just domain expansion boom dio oh, is done filled with fried. all of the yeah. information of like three to f uh, just everything who three to five years a thousand years who cares dio yeah. is done when it comes to unlimited void there's absolutely nothing that stops a domain expansion like unlimited void and uh, i think that's pretty much cut case and dry and i feel like when we're on the topic of hmm. domain expansions something very similar although i'd be curious to see how you think time stop interacts with it Obviously, Sukuna is going to be the character that tops everything off. The main king of curses, the number one at the top yeah. of the totem pole, and the end of the Jujutsu Kaisen gauntlet for Dio. Although, he probably lost a little while ago. He wouldn't make it to the top. But being generous, obviously, Malevolent Shrine is one of the most devastating attacks in most of anime and manga. And whether you want to say 15 yeah. Fingers Sukuna, Meguna with all of the things that Meguna can do with the Ten Shadows, or even as we know, Heianera Sukuna now with a spatial slash that is literally said to just cut whatever Sukuna deems as his target, regardless of any space, in where, what, and in between. Yeah, I I feel like time stop would work, you know, inside the domain, but for how long? And then instantly, as it runs out, does he have to, he has to get it off again before he's done? You know what I mean? I don't know. Like, goes back to that that idea of his time stop like a barrierless domain in itself when we're in Jujutsu Kaisen with like his own sphere of influence will it clash with sakuna's domain you know like these they, it'd be kind of cool it'd be really cool to see that it's kind of why i wanted to see kenjaku and sakuna fight in some kind of way have their barrierless domains go at it and see who comes out on top you know like would these slashes start cutting time and then that would in turn you know like hurt dio or like how does how does it work it would be super interesting to see how they came together i doubt sakuna would win though just for me thinking that like dio could probably pause time then again he's got rct so we can just like heal his body over and over again. So, you yeah, know, actually, I, I take that back completely. I don't know what I'm talking about. Sakuna can just reverse yeah. curse technique at such an advanced yeah. level. Like, even if Dio does time stop and donut hole Sakuna, like, Dio's going to think yeah. he's won and Sakuna's going to start laughing and be like, huh. Well, that was an interesting domain. technique. And then like, yeah, either <laughs> domains, which even if we go to the topic, like you mentioned of Dio using time stop to try and avoid malevolent shrine. And like, let's say Dio time stops 10 seconds, tries to run away and then has to re time stop after that. I feel like even if he did mm. that, he's got a clear 200 meters. So if he somehow doesn't make it out of that range, mm. he's going to get eviscerated in that short time span he has to try and escape yeah. before yeah. he time stops again. So I think ultimately, yeah. Sakuna, even though Dio does have potential to win, Sakuna is just going to come out on top because he's a demon. Gojo, even though yeah, he lost yeah. to Sakuna, definitely is better matchup wise. But I still think Sakuna, de even depending on what version of Sakuna you put him up against, I think Three Fingers Sakuna would probably be the only one that would lose that battle against Dio's time stop. And can they kill him? I mean, Sakuna can dice Dio up into tiny pieces again, and that's a very viable option because there's no regeneration Dio can do in enough time to get him to, mm. you know, you know, daytime. Yeah, What's that? Yeah. What do they call that again? Yeah. Dio does a lot of damage in the Jujutsu Kaisen world, but when you get to a certain mm. level, uh, we see in special grade territory, only some, um, but even certain cases where they have very specific curse techniques like Takaba, Higuruma, Hanakarusu, and Angel, there are definitely characters that come out on top over the vampiric god that is Dio, all capital letters. But in the Jujutsu Kaisen world, the stand, the world is honestly just as powerful as it would be in the JoJo universe. 
it's just like that with abilities in like different universes and even in the same universe as jojo's there's probably you know like abilities that are up that are able to be time stop when put up against it but you know we just never saw that in the anime because that's not how things played out and stuff so guys thank you all so much for watching i sincerely appreciate it go ahead and hit me with that like button if you haven't already and one thing i want to make clear is if you haven't subscribed to diavolo's channel yet what the hell are you doing that was a uh, awesome dude thank you for for having me on and make sure you guys all subscribe to no up as well are you tripping absolutely tripping if you haven't i don't know what you're on you will definitely want to subscribe to diavolo to check out the next video we're doing <laughs> if you like this one Hell so yeah i sincerely appreciate you guys again for watching and we'll catch it in that video it will be here on the end screen peace